All right, Alec Ingold joining us as the Dolphins get ready for the Baltimore Ravens this week. All right, so how many times have you rolled the tape going, just a couple of inches, that's all I needed? Yeah, no, there's multiple plays like that, but definitely wanted that one. Take a shot. You get your number called, you want to make the play. So, um, especially as the first game in the, in Hard Rock for the Dolphins uh, is a tough one. But you learn from it, right? You roll the tape, and um, we'll get we'll keep getting better, man. That's all you can do. You know, I, this is my 32nd year covering this team. Okay. So, you know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, coaches had two-a-days. They were hitting two-a-days. Yeah. You were playing a lot of football. And, you know, one of the, when, the, when I saw that play, I said, well, he missed a lot of time in training camp. They didn't have a lot of reps. Yeah. I don't even think coaches and players get enough reps in an offseason to prepare for the season. I almost feel like the first four or five games are the extension of the right. preseason because you guys are fine-tuning it. And to me, that's what that was right there. You were just off by a little because I don't know if you had a lot of those shots with, with Tua. Right. Yeah, I think that everyone's mindset here um, – top to bottom is we want to play our best football you know December January it's a relentless pursuit of perfection knowing you're not going to achieve it right so whether you have a, a week one play you know it, it's not about making that mistake once it's about fixing it and, and cutting it loose for the next time learning from it so uh yeah it's you know it, it's definitely a look in the mirror type of thing you know you're never going to point fingers anywhere uh, in this locker room so got to look in the mirror figure out how you can be better more accountable and uh just go out there and do it again and I think that's what that's where the magic is man it's it's about just always trying to get better. It's that mindset. It's growth. It's it's kind of maturing and um, not letting those things kind of hit you hit you hard. This is the kind of game you look forward to with the with the Ravens because it's just one of the ones that you are going to be knocking some heads. <laughs> yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of bumps and bruises after this one. We'll get in the ice tub afterwards. So uh, no, it's it's exciting, especially for the whole team. You you roll the tape. They're physical. They love playing. It, it's the Ravens. It's their brand of defense and and football. So. Um, you know, a lot of guys coming into the Miami Dolphins organization, we want to um, be able to, to play those games. And those are meaningful games in winter and um, playoff games in, in December, January, and February. So, um, yeah, it, it's exciting. It's a challenge, right? Like a measuring stick type of game. You know, Alec, a lot of people talk about, like, you didn't have a ton of success on the ground last week. But what I thought was an enormous positive was – the adjustment that your line made in the middle of that game, whether it's a third tackle coming in, whether it's a guards popping out to offensive tackle, whether it's a, somebody popping in to fill in a guard. And to me, that's the part that I saw positive. And it's really hard to have a lot of continuity and success, as we were just talking about with you and Tua. Right. Same thing as the offensive line when then there's injuries. And, by the way, you happen to be facing a damn good front seven, <laughs> yeah, no which people think, oh, no, they're playing Piper High. Sorry, Piper High. Uh, so, you know, it's just one of those things that I just think people take that for granted mm -hmm what you guys kind of did on the fly last last week. Yeah, and I think it's cool to see guys step up and step in, right? Like, that's that's football. That's team sports and uh, being able to have a deep rotation of guys. That's mindful. That's practice. That's training camp. That's culture. You know, that's being able to step up and be accountable when your, your number's called. So I know we touched on that earlier, too. So um, see, be able to adjust just like you're saying, whether they're seven-man turning into eight-man late rotations. We got a bunch of motions, um, especially week one, man. There's no there's no tape for, for a game right. that you get to study. So – being able to have multiple guys be able to, to make those adjustments was awesome. So you just got to keep learning, keep growing. All right, what do you guys got to do to get that running game going this week? Because, hey, listen, that's another positive that I find in this. You pass for 270 yards without a running game. Yeah. Can you imagine if you guys start really getting four yards a clip, yep. then the play action and everything else. And actually, what I keep telling everybody, the Mike McDaniel offense is not going to be seen until you run the ball. Right. Yeah, it's consistency, right? Like all the way from the line all the way back, wide receivers being able to, to do your job over and over again. And I think that's going to be the kind of secret sauce of, of this whole offense is being consistent with it. You know, whether you have a look, being able to adjust, make your right calls, make your right adjustments, and, and get that communication from the quarterback and center all the way out for all 11 to make your plays. So, um, yeah, it's tough to run the ball in this league for sure, but I think that's the challenge that we all have to answer the bell to. You weren't here last year, but this team shined on Thursday night against the Ravens. I, I remember. I, I was watching, yeah. So I would imagine they're going to want a little revenge. Has that been talked about a little bit? Like, hey, man, you're always going to be ready, but, boy, these guys may have a little a little extra juice coming into this one. Yeah, I mean, that game was crazy last year, so it, it's just a challenge for, for us a week two to, to step up and um, be able to play good football. So I think that's that's what we need to be doing. This is the Big O Show. This 
is the Big O Show.